Hey guys, Will here with Create Studio, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create walking animations inside of Create Studio 3 using our 3D characters. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at what you're going to be creating. So before I start, I want to give a big shout out to Ilya. He's our designer who works on our scenes and our templates, and he helped us get started here by creating these animations for us. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. So the first animation, we've got Tom walking across the screen, stands there and idles, and then he walks back off the other way. Our second animation that we're going to do, our character comes in from the screen again, same side, turns around, idles, and then he walks toward the corner of the screen there, kind of like walking towards us a little bit and scales up as he does and then walks off screen. Our final animation that we're going to be working with, our character comes across screen, he then waves, and then he walks to the other side of our canvas there. All right, so let's go ahead and delete these and let's start from scratch. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my backgrounds and I'm going to go ahead and search up graffiti and it'll pop in that graffiti background wall that we had a second ago. I'm gonna drag that onto my canvas. And then let's go back here. Let's go ahead and drag this out a little bit. It's about 20 seconds. I'll right click it and I'll rename it BG for background just so we can stay organized. Now what I can do is start with my first character. So let's go to our 3D character uh, creator and let's go ahead and drag in Tom and I'll drag him here to the start. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tom template as is. Um, so as you can see, if I select my character animation, you can go over here and there's different presets. If you created your own characters, you can choose your own character as you choose, right? All right, so let's go back to our actions here and I'm gonna select idle for his first animation and I'm gonna go ahead and change that to walking. Then I'm gonna come over here and add a new action and we're gonna scroll up and we're gonna search for our idle. And then we're gonna add our third and final animation there and let's go back to a walking animation. All right. So the first thing I wanna do is let's go ahead and select our first walking animation and we're gonna disable the start. And then my idle, we're gonna leave the same. We're not gonna mess the thing in there. And our last walking animation, we're going to disable the end, okay? So now we're ready to start animating Tom walking across screen. All right, so let's go ahead and click off of here. And let's say that I wanna go ahead and click on my animations and I can right click in here and select add animation. And we're gonna go ahead and choose position and on easing, we're gonna choose in and out and then choose linear, okay? So our first keyframe, we're gonna to move to the beginning of our start point here. And that's this is where uh, I'm gonna to set Tom to start, okay? So make sure he's uh, your keyframe is selected there at the start and it's blue. And I'm gonna drag Tom so he's right off screen, so he's sitting about right here, all right? Now I'm gonna select that final keyframe here and I'm gonna put it about right here and I want him to stop about right in the center of my screen here. So this is a good spot. All right, so now he's gonna come across, walk, idle, and then we're gonna get him to walk back across screen. All right, so what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and find that spot where we wanna transition. So we're gonna come here, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna say add animation. I'm gonna go back to properties here and let's go ahead and choose character view and then go to easing and choose in and out, go back to linear. And so now we're gonna leave that first keyframe alone. And on this second keyframe, I'm gonna go ahead and choose rotate and I'm gonna turn him back this way. So he's facing the same direction he walked in from. All right, and then I will turn off rotate. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and right click again, click add animation and choose position and then go to easing and I'm gonna choose in and out and make sure it's set to linear. All right, so now what I can do is on my first keyframe here, I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that to the right on top of my ending uh, character view animation there. And then on my last keyframe here, I'm gonna drag this out to the end and I'm gonna move Tom so he is over here, okay? So now if I kind of scroll through this, you'll see that he turns and he walks. Now he's kind of walking off a little bit, angled a little bit. Now, if we wanna change that, what I can do is I can then move this over, adjust my rotation a little bit. There's turn that back on and then let's turn him a little more that way. And so now what we can do is comes through, walks, and now he's walking off screen again. So it looks really good. So that's the first animation for using our 3D characters. Now let's work on our second. So I'm gonna go over here to our, back to our 3D characters again. And if you don't remember where that was, it's back in studio, click on 3D creator, and then I'll drag my Tom character back in to this section. And I'm not gonna stick with this um, preset here of Tom. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my presets and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and I'm gonna choose this character here, all right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and expand this out a little bit more so we have more background to work with. And again, I'm gonna select my idle animation and it's gonna open up his animation properties here. And I'm gonna change that to a walking animation. Now I'm gonna click add new action and we're gonna change this guy back to an idle again. 
and then click add new action again and we're going to go down and choose walking all right so so far we've got our three animations back in there and we've got our main character built in so now we can start animating him and getting him to walk across screen all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and just like we did in that first scenario i'm going to click on the first walking animation disable the start we're going to leave our idle the same and on that last walking animation we're going to disable the end okay so now let's go ahead and right click on our animation here and click add animation and on properties we're going to go to position and we're going to go to easing again make sure we're set to linear in and out and on that first keyframe i'm going to move it to the beginning of my animation start point and now i'm going to drag him to start uh, his position off screen down here below the canvas there all right and then i can click it to make sure i've got it set up right and i do and i'm going to go to my end point i'm going to drag this closer to my idle here about right here and then with that endpoint selected, move your character to the position stopping point you want him to end at, right? So I'm gonna be right here towards the middle of our frame here. And then so, so far so good. So he walks out and then he idles there. And then now we need him to walk back, but this time we're gonna have him come towards the corner. All right, so he's gonna come walking this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click and I'm gonna say add animation and let's do properties and let's go ahead and click on character view right and make sure we go to easing in and out and set to linear all right so for that first one it's going to stay the same for that second one though this is where i'm going to click rotate and i'm going to turn him so he's facing kind of angled towards this corner so he's going to be coming down this way right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and right click again hit add animation and then click position and scale right now i'm going to go to easing choose linear and then now i'm ready to finish out my sequence here right so on this first keyframe that I just created. I'm going to go ahead and just drag that over the top of our 3D character keyframe. And on this last keyframe here, I'm going to go ahead and drag it out to the end. So he walks off towards the screen that we want him to. And I'm going to go ahead and set him to be, he's going to come and it's going to end probably about right here. All right. So I'll do that. And then I'm also going to go to my properties here and let's, we don't have to do properties. Let's just go ahead and scale him up. So I'm going to scale him just a little bit. So that way I may have to make him out this way. That way he scales up in proportion when he's walking towards the camera, right? He's got a little bit of scale going on, nothing too crazy, um, but just to kind of give it that realistic look, right? So now let's drag this through. So he comes on screen, idles, makes his turn, and then he starts walking off screen towards the corner there. Now he may be walking at a slant. So again, if you need to make an adjustment, all you have to do is come over here. Let's move this one over. Let's select that ending character view there. Go to rotate again, and then we can kind of angle him a little more this way. So now when we fix that back up, we can then play this back here and he makes that nice little angle towards the corner. So that's how you can make quick adjustments on the fly too. If you don't get something right the first time, go back in, retweak it, and you'll get it set up right. All right, so now let's focus on our final and last animation that we're gonna walk through here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little bit more background here. And then let's go back and we're gonna add our Linka character, right? So let's, let's add another character. And then I'm gonna drag her in and I'm gonna go ahead and put my cursor over so I could see what I'm working with. Go to presets and I'm gonna scroll down and let's choose this version of Lenka here. It's just a little different. She's got some glasses, she's got a watch and she's got some shoes on, all right? So let's punch in a little bit so you can see what's going on. And I'm gonna click on her idle animation here. And then let's go ahead and start off with a walking animation. And we're gonna go ahead and select add new action. And now we're gonna choose wave, right? Is her second animation. And then I'm gonna click on add new action and then she's gonna walk back off screen again. All right, so let's come here. Now we're ready to set up and get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select my walking animation and again, disable the start. And then click on wave and we're gonna leave everything the same in there. And on our final walk off animation, we're gonna disable the end. All right, now let's go ahead and let's go and right click this and then let's add animation. Go to properties, choose position on easy to make sure you choose in and out and linear and now i'm ready to bring her on screen here so i'm going to go ahead and pull this one to the beginning here let's go ahead and select our first keyframe and i want her to start right here on the right side of the screen all right i can pull her down just a little bit and then i'm going to go ahead and choose my end keyframe let's bring this out just a little bit about right there and then make sure your keyframe selected and then find your endpoint where you want her to stop at, right? So I'm gonna say right here in the middle of my screen and then she's going to transition to a wave. And again, if it still doesn't seem like the transition's happening right, you can drag that endpoint out a little closer to the wave 
right? And so now, there we go. She's got a nice little turn. She waves, and then she's going to walk off screen towards our left there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and right click, add animation, choose properties, and choose position. And on my easing, I'm going to go ahead and choose linear. All right, and so on that first one, she's good to go. She's going to stay where she's at. On that second keyframe, that's where we want to choose where we want her to go and how we want her to end up. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag this out. And then all I have to do now is make sure that end keyframe is selected and you see that it's blue. And then I'm just going to move her to the end of my frame here off canvas. And then now if I go back, you'll see she walks on, she waves, and then she walks off screen. So that is how you can utilize animations using our 3D characters inside of Create Studio 3. Hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create. I'll catch you on the next tutorial. Thank you.